First time out for the year, guys, with Mr. Keaton Crew, Ryo, yeah, Jeremy. We miss him better on Mr. Victor, but we still go and try them. <laughs> Hoping to get some fish today, target species, anything. Water looking good. Real people going out. Leave some fish, Joey. Sun shining already. But guys, water very calm for now. First time dropping a line in the ocean since kind of when last time we come out last year. Oh, November. So we're gonna see salmon, redfish, shark. Right. Was the last time I fished? If you need help to pull your fish, say the word, eh? Right, right and right, eh? Yeah, go up, go up. Go up to the front. Ow. Have a little current. Yeah, it has some current. One pound going back a little bit. See, you can't bite. See, you pull any food shock here. Yeah, man, you pull it back? Uh huh. First fish, first fish. You touch it on the ground? <laughs> what size is the video you have? Is that a pole? Huh? What is this? A what? I think I got one up on Jeremy's struggling here guys Fish fighting This man pulling boy Fishing in about 200 220 feet of water This is the shallowest spot we've ever fished <laughs> Ryan, you should have practiced him at home before you came out. Ryan, show him how to put the line. He's only tired of himself doing that. <laughs> You're right, hand on the left hand. Like a rollout driver, very tight on the arm. Post. Reach up, you reach up. <laughs> yeah, be, you pull it from so far and make sure you fish there, you know. False alarm there, guys. False alarm. Quick change in conditions, guys. What a choppy. First signs of action here, guys. Mr. Keith, hopefully, on a fish. I get a little bite too. Miss. The line going on, also. Pulling me. Oh no. Two salmon. First catch on board, guys. Two salmon. Double. Bait, bait, bait. I don't like 
first fish here, guys. Oh, decent salmon I keep just pull a double, so I'm guessing that is where it is. Water is choppy. in 280 Doubles for me too, what? It's only double fighting, right? Fri fryers, fry fryers, 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 Nine, about 12 inches guys. Hey mister, got it in. No worry with that man. I got it in, why are we talking about? Freezers, freezers be alright now, you know. I have four sandwiches there already. Key to the next one, the biggest one so far. Salmon biting. We're now with three hooks here. T knot. Current pulling a little bit, but fish biting. Now well done, Mr. Keith, you're pulling fish, man. Fish with skill. Okay. Let's see how long this take to catch a fish here. Nice salmon coming here. Yeah, we're right. I'm a fish possibly as well. It's a hard pull from 300 feet. Hopefully, fish stays on. I'm feeling like a little weight. Might be two. Pull in, pull in. Let's see what it is, guys. Let's see what it is. Hopefully, it stays on. Feeling some weight. Oh, yes. What? And have an eel on the next hook. <laughs> the eel. Nice one. Fish and an eel. Yeah, boy. Someone eel, boy. Can you let your cute marriage? Ah. I think I want another salmon here, guys. Had him. Cut the bait. Caught something. Cut the bait smaller. Got more bait. Oh, we have some more grunt as bait. Three hundred feet, guys. Three hundred feet. You gotta catch one. Smaller bait hook. One bite and get hook. Not a 
got some on here guys time to go on clean fish and then clean boat I'll tell him on that he like the right thing Who don't like the right thing, boy? Hey for Jeremy. Now now we will trick him. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Right, you might get by to these things, eh? Monster Bachak. Real big. Check out this place here, guys. What the hell is this? <laughs> it's a pudding, huh? Somebody plant up this when they come to camp. So we just go and borrow one or two. No sense leaving the big batra. I want to tell you, watch yourself. <laughs> Let's take two. Sure. So, not much fish today, guys. Maybe about a dozen salmon. Um, all decent size, 12, 13 inches. Maybe biggest was about 15 inches. Our fish already clean. Uh, we're just taking a little dip. Clean all the fish right there. You both right there. So we're just gonna take a little dip, then head home. And maybe I'll probably salmon one time to finish this video. Fishing was slow, the water was rough. Didn't get to go to the spots we want to go. Still made the most of it. Anything you catch, you're good to go. Now it's half, maybe fish for half day. So hopefully see my cooking in the kitchen. If not, thanks for watching this episode guys. Always appreciate it. Remember, always keep fishing. Fish on. Just came back from fishing with Mr. Keith. Um, pretty rough day out there. The water was rough, conditions were tough. I'm catching like about a dozen or so salmon, like this size. Uh, about 13 to 14 inches. So I have him. I know I don't normally ever bake salmon. It's a pretty soft fish. Not my favorite fish, but this one is as fresh as it can get. So go in and make a little big salmon quick, quick. Slice them up, put them in some foil, season them up, and bake them back. Some dinner and some lunch. So even when you have a top day out in the water, you can still come up with something to eat and make you safe. So let me see how it goes. So we have the salmon, have a bacon dish. You know one fit in the dish whole, so one slice him in half. Right? Pretty firm still, just caught like I said. Decent size. Meanwhile, I can get dinner lunch. Quick clean up, so we put some foil in the bacon dish. 
I still gonna make a couple of slits in the fish to get some seasoning in there. Salmon have no kind of flavor, if you ask me. So you need to put some decent amount of flavor in there. Alright, let's put them in this plate for now. Let's have some all-purpose seasoning, of course. Generous, generous all-purpose seasoning. Okay, you can only crack some crevices all inside. So here we salmon seasoning with all-purpose seasoning only for now. That's all for now we're gonna do. Now we're gonna make up a little sauce to put on top of when I'm going to bake. So for the sauce, as I'm Chopped up raw garlic, some pepper sauce, some tomato paste, soy sauce, and some water. I mixed up in this bowl right here and bait these guys in it. Okay, so for the sauce, starting with the tomato paste, you can use ketchup if you want. Tomato paste have a much stronger flavor. Turn out with the olive oil. Not too much. Dash of soy sauce. Some pepper sauce. Use any one you like. Most people would recognize this one. And a little bit of water. And then raw garlic. I love garlic, so I put a lot. Put some shadow any full and if you want as well. Totally up to you. Put them in here first. As you cook, the sauce will also, you know, go into the oil as well and it will be cooked well. Check him out guys. And stick him in the oven. See how it goes. Fresh salmon guys, as fresh as you can get. Just caught a couple of hours ago. Gonna be best. Like I said, I normally bake salmon, but when it is fresh, you can do almost anything you want to them. So I'm gonna put them in right here. For about half an hour, we will check him. Um, I think half an hour should be good. If not, we could put him for an extra five, ten minutes until we know he's cooked. We have the eye right here, so the eye will turn white, and the meat will get flaky. So I'll check it back in a little bit. Bake. 350. 30 minutes. Alright, guys, so half an hour has finished. Let's see if our fish is done. Is completely white. Oh yes, that is perfectly done. So we're just taking some of the sauce and basting the fish with it. That's all the good sauce that we created, and that's going to give that fish a lot of extra flavor. There we have it guys, finished product. Went fishing Mr. Keith, wasn't the best day fishing wise. Uh, we caught about a dozen decent salmon. Uh, we cleaned them one time before we came up. We always do at Mr. Keith, we start fishing pretty early, go clean the fish and then we come up the road. Tried to cook one one time, as fresh as it could get. Salmon is not my favorite, but this, as fresh as it could get, not bad at all. If you guys enjoyed this episode of Coastal Fishing, till the next one, keep fishing, fishing.